So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. Following the safe return of the escaped lion to its home in the circus, life returned to normal for the creatures of the high country. And what could be more normal than for two curious foals to be out exploring secret and mysterious places they had not visited before? But the young and inexperienced are often oblivious to dangers older and wiser heads have become wary of. Thara! I didn't expect to see you here. Well, the feeling's mutual, Urella. Who's your friend? This is Yuri, from the Brolgas herd. We're exploring, Thara. I've never been on this side of the Sentinel before. And have you discovered anything of interest? Yeah, we think so. This gorge is so high and narrow, it looks like a really good hiding place. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Yep, no doubt about it. So, what would happen if you were chased by a man on horseback who came in behind me? Uh, simple. We'd jump into the stream until we got clear of the narrow bit, then back up onto the bank. And off we go. Nice try. But I think you'll find the stream very deep and swift at that point. And there's a rushing waterfall not far downstream. You'd find yourselves dashed to pieces on the rocks below. Oh, we didn't think of that. Well, that's OK. You're still learning. Looks like there's a storm brewing. You two should think about getting back before the storm breaks. Bye, Thara. Bye. That Thara, he thinks he knows everything. Uh-oh. Looks like rain. I think we should start heading back. We'll just get soaked if we do. There's more shelter here. I think we should stay put. But Thara said we should go back to our herds. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do everything Thara says, you know. It'll be real fun to spend the whole night right here. The whole night? Yeah, it'll be fun. It may be fun, but... Scaredy cat, Urella is a scaredy cat. I am not a scaredy cat. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, I dare you, scaredy cat. Oh, all right then. Good on you, Urella. It'll be real fun. <laughs> Come on, I saw an overhang further back down the gorge. Let's shelter there. This sure beats getting soaked to the bone. Told ya. Karawam! Where are you when you're needed? Over here, El Supremo. Keep it dry! Did you want something, sire? Quite comfortable, are you, Karawang? Oh, quite. Thank you, O oh merciful magnificence. 
It's so touching to know your concern for my well-being. Come here. Ah, uh, pardon, sire? Come here! Uh, but, but it's very wet out there, sire. And I'm just recovering from a bad chill. Uh, I've got these aches, you see, in my... Come here! Caruan, where are you? Right here, your holiness. Just as you said. Karawang, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Keeping dry your rain-soaked superbness. Ah! <laughs> Karawang, one of the folds is missing. Get airborne and find him. B -b but the lightning, sire. Ah, this instant! <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, Yuri, look at that. A stream's coming up. What do you expect with all this rain? It'll go down just as soon as it stops. And what if the rain doesn't stop? Whoever heard of rain that didn't stop? It'll stop, all right. There you go. What did I tell you? Ah, about time the rain stopped. The mighty Brolga should have more respect for his spies. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> It's been raining wombats and koalas, but the stream's dried up. What's going on? Thaura, have you seen any sign of Urella? Yes, he was exploring the gorge with the fall from the Brolgas herd, but he should have been back by now. Oh, um, I'm a trifle tired of resting on this limb. If you wish, I could fly off and find him. Oh, good on you, Mopoke. Well, thanks. And tell him from me to get right back or he'll be in trouble. It's nature's way for foals to explore. They never think the trouble's in store. <laughs> hey, are my eyes fooling me or is the water still rising? It is still rising and just as fast as ever. What's going on? Oh no, look at that! A landslide! We're trapped! But, but we can't be! You and your big ideas, we should have listened to Thaura! Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. So that's it! Ooh, ooh! The stream's blocked with tons of rubble! Those two foals could be in trouble! Help! Help! In walloping wallopies happened. Did I hit a cast iron cloud or something? A nasty crash, I must admit. I fancy my head will now hurt a bit. Mm, those dopey foals are gonna get very wet, to say the least. I'd better report to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Mopoke, what do you think you're doing? Who invited you? Hey, Mopoke? Oh, I get it. It's April Fool's Day. Hey, mighty Brolga. <laughs> Very funny, boss, but you have to get up early to fool old Karawong. You must think I'm a fool, Mopoke. 
Now stop wasting my time with Karawong impersonations and clear off. <laughs> Very funny, sire. I never gave you credit for having such a sense of humor. <laughs> and good acting, too. Why such a talent as yours? <laughs> That's more like it, sire. Joke's over and back to business, eh? Mopoke, I don't know what you're playing at, but... At the foal, sire. It's trapped in the gorge with Urala. There's been a rock slide and the water's rising fast. What? You sit there doing ridiculous Karawang imitations when a foal is in danger? What kind of imbecile are you, Mopoke? I hate to say it, but I think the Brolg has finally lost his marbles. Mopoke. Mopoke. Oh, hello, Karawang. Well, that's funny. I could have sworn I heard Mopoke. Me too. Um, uh, what can we do for you, Karawang? Karawang? Has that wretch sneaked up behind, or have you two both gone blind? <laughs> you should give up being a spy and take up a career as a travelling mimic, Karawong. Karawong? Karawong? I hope this joke doesn't go on too long. <laughs> oh, very good. I'm most impressed. I always thought you had a theatrical nature, Karawong. Oh, oh, oh. While you two joke and clown, poor Urala might well drown. Urala? Drown? What are you talking about? A landslide has caused a dam. Those two foals are in quite a jam. A dam? The gorge. Thanks, Mopoke. Uh, Karawong, I must go. <laughs> they think I'm some kind of theatrical sham. At least I know who I am. Mopoke, Mopoke. <laughs> I can kick this down, uh, or at least I can try. You can do it, dynamic dam demolisher. You can smash it. Help! Can anyone hear us? Help! Help! Should have known that pest would show up. Thaura's arrived, mighty rock rumbler. He's skulking in some bushes, watching. Do you think I'd believe anything you say, Mopoke, just because you're imitating my spy? But, 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 but look, it's really me, Karawong, your optical impotentness. <laughs> Rolga has no chance by himself. We must go down and help. We must, I agree, but look at the size of that wall. It's a hopeless task. Attempting to kick down that won't be fun. Digging and scraping's what must be done. Karawong, are you still fooling about? We've got a serious problem here. I know you've got a problem, of course. So you should listen, you silly horse. Thara, he's right. Digging and scraping is what must be done. Digging and scraping? Of course. Uh, thanks, Karo... Uh, uh, Mo... P Karo Wong, or whoever you are. Let's go, Boom Boom. <laughs> whoever I am, whoever I am, they still think I'm a theatrical sham. <sighs> oh, it's no use. I can't budge this thing. Those foals are doomed. Ah, the Karawong, at last you're here. Get airborne and check the water level, then report back. What? Not this inane Karawong stuff again? Has the whole world gone insane? What? What's going on here? 
carawongs that sound like mopokes, and mopokes that sound like carawongs. It's only a mopoke I am for sure, just like I was before. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. oh, what's wrong, oh raucous Ramesses? Anything I can do to help? Ah! I can't stand it. I'm going around to the other side of the gorge to see if I can help from there. No doubt about it. The mighty Brolgers lost his marbles. Wombat, are you at home? <laughs> I'm what much going on. What's all the noise about? We need digging and scratching done. In a hurry. Digging and scratching? Well, what do you think I am, the local flea catcher? All I want is some sleep. But it's Urella, Wombat, and another foal. They're trapped in the gorge and may be drowned. <clears throat> so what am I supposed to do? Dig and scratch the flame and water away? No, but you can save them. There's no time to lose. We must go now. <clears throat> oh, all right, all right. Every time someone needs saving, it's Wombat's job. Go on, lead the way. <laughs> right, there's no time to waste. Uh-oh. Looks like we could be in for more rain. That's the last thing we need. Murpok, where have you been? Yes, that Karawong's been flying about pretending he's you. Oh, don't try to confuse me with your gibberish. You can't save those foals. I'm off to tell the Brolga what you're up to. All the birds in the high country are going insane. Brolga, thou has arrived with that cranky old wombat. What? How many times have I told you, Mopok? I'm not interested in... It's me, sire. Korowong. Thou and wombat are, are, are reinforcing the dam. Undoing all the good work you did. Go get him, sire. Give that smart Alec the thrashing he so richly... <laughs> the way, Wombat. You're getting there. Go, Wombat, go! <laughs> Hooray! Oh, oh, oh. What a delight. That will lower the water's height. Hooray! The water's going down. We're saved! We're saved! <laughs> <laughs> oh, typical. Typical. Oh. Oh, no! Typical! Typical! Oh, no! The water! It's rising again! There are some days when you simply shouldn't get up. The water has begun to rise. I give you my word, I tell no lies. No lies? Who can believe anything you say, Karawong? I can believe him, Boon Boon. The rain's too heavy. But I can't dig that hole any bigger. We must get up to the top to see what's happening. I can't stand 
to watch. <coughs> All is well. The dab has been crushed, just like a shell. Ha! Ah, talk about lucky. It's amazing what lightning can do. Thanks for saving me, Wombat. I don't know what we would have done without you. Well, it wasn't me what saved you. It was that bolt of lightning. But we would have drowned before the lightning hit if it hadn't been for you. So thanks again. <clears throat> oh, all right, all right. Enough's enough. Now I'm going home to get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Wombat. Oh, Mopoke. How are you? Um, uh, it is you, isn't it, Mopoke? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I've just woken up from the strangest dream. <laughs> it's all right, mighty sire. It's all right, I understand. What? I realize the stress and strain of being king of the Cascade Brumbies must eventually take its toll. You can call me Mopoke if it makes you feel better. What? Stress and strain? Ah! Oh! I, the mighty Brolga, could have saved those fools. Thaura has interfered for the last time. Now, we must fight! So the Brolga's not happy to have his thunder stolen. Is he a king still worthy of the name? But at least Mopok and Karawal now know who they are. Along with the other creatures of the high country. It would seem, however, the Thara must be on his guard. challenge is never something to be taken lightly. Among the Brumbies of the high country, it is a very serious matter. 
<coughs> Typical. Typical. A matter of protecting a territory, or protecting a herd, or dealing with a rival. Thaura and the Brolga knew that a fight between them was inevitable. It was only a matter of time. For Thaura, the stakes were high. The chance to defeat the stallion who defeated and killed his own father, the mighty Garaman, king of the Cascade Brumbies. Thaura knew he must wait till he was ready to tackle such a formidable foe. This is your day of reckoning, Thaura. You tell him, your magisterial pompositiness. <laughs> Not a sign of him, your eminent imperialness. I can see that, Karawong. Because we are on the same level. Now make yourself useful for once. Get up there and spy properly, you unctuous inanity. Mmm, unctuous inanity. Oh, very good, sire. Very good indeed. Ah! Ah! Spy! Spy! Uh, yes, your lofty indulgence. Anything the matter, Boom Boom? Huh? Oh no. Just thinking about my father. He was all riled up, ready for a challenge. And so far, nothing. You should be on your guard, Thara. I hope you're always on your guard, Thara. Always, Benny. Don't worry, Boom Boom. I'm not ready for that fight yet. And I haven't forgotten your warning. Thanks for caring. And I was thinking about Arrow. Arrow? Arrow? Yes, Arrow. It seems funny without him around. Getting into trouble and complaining and trying to one-up you. Peaceful and quiet, I'd call it. Never thought he'd go. Me neither. I thought he'd be straight back. Gunda must have changed her mind about him after he saved her from the man. Let's hope he's not wearing out his welcome with the Southern Brumbies. Yeah, or he might be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you're both mean.
snake frighten you? Ah, look who's talking! <gasps> She's alive! Aranda, are you all right? <clears throat> oh. Well, I'm not too bad, I, I think. No bones broken, but it's a long way down. What can we do to help? The Brolga. Get him. He's the only one who can help. We'll get him, Miranda. Let's go, Muli. <laughs> the Brolga, he'll be furious. What? Why? We'll get into trouble for being scared and leading Aranda into trouble. Oh, stop thinking of yourself, Molly. We've got to help Aranda. <laughs> well, good riddance, I say. Better off without him. One less brumby in the high country is one less nuisance. Enough trouble with them what's left. Pound on the ground and ruining my home and... What are you doing, Wombat? Oh, what's it look like? Digging? Oh, bravo, you're a genius. I'm digging wider and deeper to get away from the pound and brumby. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, thank you. Now, I've got no time to gossip, especially about whatever that forgotten brumby's name is. Arrow? Forgotten him already. <laughs> Uh, it was the snake's fault. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. Snake? What? Didn't do what? Aranda. She fell down, but it wasn't my fault. And it wasn't mine. Fell down? What? Where? Down into the ravine. Onto a ledge. She told us to get the Brolga. But he's not here. Get up, you two. Spread out and find the Brolga. You'll know what to do. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just avoiding that eagle, mighty sire. They're a dangerous breed, not to be trusted. Oh? But what's a miserable eagle to you, mighty Karawang? You claim to be able to vanquish them with ease. <laughs> True, mighty sire, but I'm a trifle puffed today. It's safer down here. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you, you miserable excuse for a draft stopper. Maestro. Arrow, arrow, what a dolt. Foolish horse, stupid colt. Come on, though, Pokey, wasn't that bad. So you've heard no news of him from the south? Not a jot, not a rumour. No tales of woe to tempt my humour. Ah, oh. so what else has happened? Oh, 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 I wouldn't tarry here too long. I think I spy the Karawan. Aha, he's here, mighty Brolga. <laughs> Told you we'd find him. Uh oh, the Brolga. That Karawang's such a grind. The Brolga's never far behind. Your time has come, Thaura. <laughs> Not if I can help it. See you, Mopo. Run, Thaura, run! Your day to thrash the Brolga has not yet come.
must be hearing things. During the bushfire, so you can do it again. Momo, rest while you can, Dara, but don't fall in a heap. That nasty brold is about to try that giant leap. Bravo, Super Sire! <laughs> Go get him! Uh oh. <laughs> That's the way, mighty Brolga. You show him. You. I would have had Thaura if that useless Karawong hadn't disappeared. He could have told me where he's lurking and... Father, forget about Thaura. Aranda's fallen over a cliff. She needs you. Aranda? Well, don't just stand there, daughter. Lead the way. <laughs> Thanks, Burnburn. Strangest dream, me too. First, I was caught in a whirlpool, spinning, spinning. Oh, spinning, spinning, almost drowning. Well, then whoosh, I turned. Into a willy willy? Me too. Isn't this amazing? And I spun about. Oh, didn't suck up anything like creatures or dust. No, nothing like that. Oh, not like a real willy willy. Well, well, natter, natter, natter. If it isn't Brumbies, it's silly emus. Bah. Like we are. Uh, aren't we? That's good. Sleepy? Oh, very. Sweet dreams. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Snakes, eagles, bats. What next, I wonder? Aha! The mighty Brolga hot on the heels of Boon Boon. I wonder what's going on. Aranda! Aranda! Are you all right? Brolga, is that you? I'm here with Boon Boon. Can you see any way down? No, I can't. And it's such a small ledge. <sighs> I don't think there's any way I can be helped. Ugh. It's so steep. What can we do? I don't know why you had to run off, sire. Just when I had Thaura cornered for you. I called and called, but you had quite disappeared. And naturally, I went looking everywhere for you, but... Uh, why are you looking over the edge? We are looking for a way down. There isn't one. Well, find one! Ah! Oh. oh, the Currawong must be fond of me. It would seem he wants to share my tree. Hold on, Aranda. Must be able to think of something. Oh, 
A ram does not a mountain goat. To get out of there, she'd have to float. Mumboke, a ram is stuck down there. Can you see any way down? The easy way is to simply jump, but a ram would end up a mangled lump. Thanks, Mopoke. We know that. But is there any other way? I'll check it out. You can be sure. Perhaps there is a way to the valley floor. Hey, what's this? Trust that nosy old Mopoke to interfere. I'll teach him for stealing my thunder. Oh, 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 what a blow! What news, Mopoke? Below Aranda is another ledge, pushed in with a great big head. But below that is a sheer drop. On her ledge, Aranda must stop. <laughs> Mopoke! <laughs> <laughs> There's one for you, old fella. Mopoke, are you all right? I think I'm all right, but oh, what a fright. But what have we here? Something of interest out back in the rear. Where's that feather brain got to? Mopoke, where are you? There he is. I can see him. Aranda, you'll be safe as can be if you care to follow me. What's going on down there? Uh, anything you say, Mopoke. <laughs> Miranda! Wait for me. I'll help you. <laughs> Miranda, where are you? Through here, on the other side. <laughs> well, there's a bush, there can be more to see. Now, if you'd care to follow me. <laughs> on that Karawong. This must be his fault. What happened? The Brolga tried to help Aranda, but he came unstuck. Mm. I'd say he cares for Aranda very much, which is more than he does for you. Heard you had a run-in earlier. I kept out of his way. I'm not ready for a fight yet. Now would be a good time to fight him if you wanted. In that state, such a victory would make me a pretty poor king. Oh, hold off, Thara. Just testing, and I'm pleased to see your wisdom grows. If I'm to be king, Benny, I must earn the title and the honour. That time will come, Thara. And it's not far off. Father! Father! I saw what happened. Are you all right? Perfectly all right. Naturally. How about you, Aranda? That was quite a fall. I'm as good as gold. Your father's got a bruise or two, though. He's just being brave. Uh. I'll stay and look after you till you get better. No need, Boon Boon. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Which is more than can be said for that dopey old mopoke. Ah, did you see the way I sent him plummeting? <laughs> Don't That Mopoke was trying to save Aranda. Oh. <laughs> I can see you're going to be a difficult patient, Father. 
a difficult patient, I'll just bet. But Boon Boon's as able as any good vet. <laughs> Boon Boon is going to have her hands full looking after her proud father. And soon, young Charlie is going to have some looking after to do of his own when he sides with the Brumbies against his own father. And what's all this talk of arrow? Is something in the air?